Hey guys, uh, this is Files Rumor here. Uh, I've decided to do a complete walk around of the Free Spirit Overland Trailer and High Country Rooftop Tent. Um, I have a lot of you guys asking me about details about my setup, so I decided to make this video to give you guys a look into the trailer as well as some of the features and specs of the setup. So here's the Free Spirit Recreation Overland Trailer from the rear. Uh, this trailer weighs about 700 pounds dry and is built using uh, 14 gauge steel with a unibody chassis. Um, it's really strong. Uh, the quoted ground clearance is about 18 and three quarter inch. And the trailer ships, I believe now with 31 inch Falcon AT3W Wild Peak all-terrain tires. Um, I've actually switched my setup to 30 inch Wild Peak tires and I'm running 16 inch Sparco wheels to match my setup on my rig. Um, I know they've changed a few specs on the trailer since I've, uh, received it so check with free spirit recreation for up-to-date specs uh, see below information for uh, their contact information so the trailer comes with um, 85 inch rhino rack vortex crossbars and i've chosen the standard height option but they do have a raised roof option as well this is basically a gear hauler for me and the overall space inside the trailer is 45 cubic feet uh, the suspension is actually made from Timbrin's Axle Suspension, which is made in Canada. These guys make top quality suspension parts, and I'm so glad Free Spirit chose to go with these guys for the suspension. As you can see here, these are the uh, lowering jacks that stabilize the trailer when you have it set up for camp. And it shows you a little bit underneath the trailer as well for the suspension. So coming around to the front of the high country tent, you can see the main entrance for the tent. The ladder is telescoping setup meant to adapt to different height setups. There is one entrance into the tent. The tent opens and closes using a clamshell style setup. So on the front of the trailer, there is a standard hitch setup using a tow ball connection. In the near future, I do plan on switching this out for a pivoting hitch that allows 360 degree of rotation, similar to like a max coupler hitch setup. So this gives you a good profile view of the tent, and it's important to make sure that this area is level as to not damage the tent. You can level the tent using the telescoping ladder. Yeah, here are the Rhino Rack Vortex bars I mentioned previously. The length of these bars is 85 inches, and the extra length on each side allows you to mount bikes, kayaks, etc. using user-preferred mounting options. And as you can see underneath, there is a little bit of um, space in between the rooftop tent and the bottom of the trailer. The rooftop tent is actually mounted to the Rhino Rack crossbars really easy mounting process as you can see in the video here. At the bottom of the high country tent you will see these very sturdy aluminum beams that support most of the weight while you're inside the tent. This new design really cuts down a lot of the weight on a tent this large when compared to their previous model. There is actually a memory foam topper inside that really creates a comfortable sleeping platform especially in the colder climates. So on this trip, uh, the temperature dipped down to about maybe the mid 40s or so, and we stayed really warm due to the foam topper inside the tent. So on the side of the tent here, you'll see an area for um, a power cable to go into from the outside of the tent. It it's, uh, creates like a storm flap. These straps here allow the tent to be strapped down a little bit more securely to the frame of the tent. I'm not sure what this elastic part does. I'm assuming when you close the tent back up, it helps close the tent off a little bit better. Um, as you can see here, a little gap in between the two beams on the clamshell design when you fold out the tent. So coming around the rear of the tent, you'll see the gear storage bags. These are mainly to store your shoes, but I've seen people store all kinds of things in here like headlamps, clothing accessories, and like toiletry items. Um, there's four total on this tent, two in the rear of the tent. And then there's also two in the front of the tent. I'm still trying to figure out how you access the rear bags, which are seen here uh, from inside the tent. I also want to point out the uh, square fenders here. It's a really nice kind of cutting surface or an area where you can just like, throw storage real quick. Here's a better view of my uh, tire and wheel setup here. And here comes Luke. Where you at, Luke? Where are you? There you are. Okay, moving on, here's the front entrance of the tent. It's this gigantic, huge entrance that allows you to go in and out of the tent. It's amazing, I love it. Um, here is the main poles that support the front rainfly of the tent. You press that button in, in to release the, uh, the poles when you want to close up and put away the tent. 
Um, there's also a main pole that goes horizontally across the main rain fly, which enables additional support. The main rain fly in the entire tent is completely weatherproof with all the seams being double taped. And then here you see the front storage bags with our shoes in it. Um, I installed a leveling gauge. Uh, this really comes in handy when you're setting up the trailer in uneven terrain. I highly recommend everyone to get one. Here's the removal pin if you need to pull the hitch bar out for compact storage. It's really easy to remove. Just make sure you have it supported on jack stands when removing the hitch bar. The wiring comes with a four hitch pin. Pretty basic equipment there. Uh, Free Spirit has these high strength safety cables installed and these hook up to any standard tow setup on your vehicle rather easily. This lever here raises and lowers the trailer as well. Here is the, uh, a different view to give you a little bit more perspective of the setup. Uh, for the most part, it's really easy to move the trailer around unless it's on sandy or rocky terrain. Um, I did have a little bit of challenge with the front wheel on the hitch. It was a little bit deeper sand, but it wasn't that bad to move it around and get it set up. Inside the tent, you can see we have it set up with uh, three sleeping bags to give you some perspective of the overall size. My partner and I sleep on either side and our dog sleeps right in the middle. You could fit four people in here in a pinch, but we find three people to be a lot more realistic. Um, the three windows and the main entrance allow ample airflow as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching the walk around video of the Free Spirit Overland Trailer and High Country Rooftop Tent. Uh, below I'll list some general information about where to find these products. Um, everything's available on Free Spirit Recreation's website. Uh, I wanted to keep this video short and to the point, so if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, I have also included some bonus drone footage uh, for you guys who made it all the way to the end. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, again, leave a comment below if you have any questions.